home, Sparks. How was your day? Did you score any points at practice? Well, I don't know exactly how to say it. I am just trying to learn about the sport. But it's still a little bit confusing to me still. Cute. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Sparks. I think that you're cute too. <clears throat> yeah, you can kiss me. Glad you're home. Oh, my day's been pretty simple. I'm getting a head start on my winter solstice cookies. Um, I'll be making dinner in a few moments, though. If you're hungry, I did make a simple fruit salad with some of the extras from my simmer pot. It's just some oranges and some pomegranates, but I chopped them up and mixed them together, so... The flavor should have marinated nicely. Yeah, um, this one was made with snow, oranges, pomegranates, some evergreen needles, cloves, and some cinnamon. It's a very simple spell, but it will promote love and warmth in our house. Well, I, I do care about you. Of course I want our home to reflect that. If you go over and inhale some of the vapors, I just know that you'll be able to feel the thumbs effects. Sadly, though, I can't run this one for as long as I have the others. There wasn't a lot of snow left on the ground after the storm we had this morning and replacing the foundation of the pot would impact its performance. But there should be more snow soon, so I can make another one then. And maybe soon I can even start making us some warm cider or cocoa. <laughs> I'm always happy to do it. It's for us, after all. <laughs> it does smell really good. I did want to add a bit of vanilla, too, but I used all that we had when I was baking cookies earlier. And my next batch of vanilla won't be ready until next week. I got the timing a little bit wrong when I made it this summer. I might have to go to the market and hope that they have some while I wait. Well, store-bought vanilla is fine if that's the only option, but it doesn't have the same potency in baking. I definitely notice a difference in it. Well, baking is casting a spell. So the ingredients that we use impact how well it performs. Oh, right. I made some sugar cookie dough today. Thank you for reminding me. I have to roll the dough still so that I can bake them. <laughs> it's not that early, but they will freeze well. I want to make some treats for our friends and professors, and I want there to be a lot of variety in the boxes I give them. If I make some of the batches ahead early, then I can really take my time on each cookie. Well... After I roll out the dough tonight, I'll cut out the wreath shape and I'll bake them. I won't decorate them until the other cookies are done, though. Royal frosting doesn't freeze as well as the cookies do, and I don't want any of the designs to crumble. Well, royal frosting is better for decorating cookies because it's stiffer. You make it by whipping up egg whites and powdered sugar into a meringue. It makes the designs on the cookies cleaner, and it dries down better than a traditional buttercream would. I was hoping to make some foliage and flowers on the cookies, so I need to be able to be detailed. I can't make actual wreaths for everyone this year, so... 
I thought that this would be the next best thing. Well, yes, I am already making everyone orange garlands. But those are different. Finals are just a lot this year, and getting ready for the holidays is already taking up a lot of my time. I just have to be mindful about what I'm choosing to focus on. And, well, cookies spread so much joy, and they allow me to have extras to make smaller presents should we need them. Yeah, I was going to work on this batch right now. Well, yeah, this is only half of the sugar cookie dough. The dough still needs to be chill when it goes into the oven so the shapes don't spread too much. Oh, yes, I would love it if you helped. Here, um, I can show you what to do with this dough, and then you can start on the other half of the dough in the fridge after. <laughs> okay, so... All you have to do is roll out the dough until it's about, hmm, maybe about a fourth of an inch thick. You do have to be quick, though. You don't want to overwork the dough by rolling it out too much. <laughs> Sugar cookie dough is a little bit finicky. Well, if the dough is overworked, then the gluten in the dough will make the cookies tough. We want these to be really soft and light still. So, in order to get the best result, you need to use a few firm, long strokes to- No, no, wait a second, I- uh, You can quickly roll the length of the dough just a few times. Yes, I am blushing a little bit. I heard what I said when I was saying it out loud, and, and then the look on your face. No, 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 it's okay. Um, I kind of like it when you tease me. It reminds me that we're close, and, and I really like that. Besides, just because you and I haven't, you know, just, just because you and I haven't taken that step together yet. Um, it, 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 it doesn't mean that I don't think about it. You're my partner. I, I think about kissing you. Holding your hand, being held in your arms by you, but I also think about doing more, too. I... I'm nervous. I know that we haven't talked much about it, but... I have some restrictions regarding how we can touch, and, and that's why I've been apprehensive to bring it up to you. That said, I, I still want it, and, and, and so I'm going to blush because you give me those thoughts. No, it's okay. We don't have to talk about it anymore. Um, the, the dough might be ready for the cookie cutter now. Oh, I have flour on my cheek. Where? Other side? Did I get it? Mm. Yes, you can help me get it off. Sparks, I... <laughs> mm. um. 
sparks. I... I... I would like you to touch me 